the YouTube fight fans all over the world. It's your boy, the realest of the real. Yes, sir. I said it real talk boxing. It is a privilege and honor and a major blessing to be back with you beautiful people. Yet again, it is the weekend, baby. Friday. I was so ready to get out of work today. First things first, I want to shout out this brother. Boxing After Dark. Nocturnal Thoughts. Bow. Bow. Salute, my brother. Um, he did a video um, about my exhibition, The Return of the OG, and gave me nothing but mad props, man. And I really appreciate it, man. I mean, a lot of people, you know, would, would choose not to give somebody props on their channel. I'm not that type of dude. You're not that type of dude. And I love that about you. I really, really do. Um, I respect the fact that you saw the transformation. I respect the fact that you saw the blood, sweat, and tears, and the sacrifice going from a, a short, fat, out-of-shape guy to a somewhat in-shape old guy. <laughs> but nevertheless, man, respect to you for all the love and support, my brother. And if you guys hadn't checked out his channel, Boxing After Dark, Nocturnal Thoughts, go check him out. And if you like what you see, go ahead and back-knuckle that subscribe button, and then back-knuckle that notification bell. Show him some love, support him, man. And also, too, we we... We're close to some 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 news, man. I just haven't received a confirmation video. Um, in order for me to announce something, I have to have a confirmation video. I have this guy calling me out to fight. Young guy, 24 years old, 6'1", 250 pounds. Big boy. You know who I'm talking about. I'm hearing that you want to fight through one person, another person, but not you. So make the video. So I can get confirmation. I can post it here and we can do it either in a ring or we can literally do it in your backyard and my backyard for that matter. Let's just get it cracking. Now we're going from real talk boxing to real talk MMA. Yes. UFC 265. And I'm talking about the heavyweight fight between, and I hope I don't just destroy his name, Cyril Gunn versus none other than Derek, the Black Beast, Lewis, oh my goodness, <laughs> ah, whoa, man, I almost forgot, I almost said Williams, big boy Lewis, man, um, I know the Black Beast, you know what I'm saying, 20, 25 and 7, uh, but this, this new guy, gone, uh, from France, 9 and 0, my first time hearing about him, like two days ago, um, from what I've seen, doing research over him, um, he's very relaxed in the ring. Like when he's walking to the octagon, he's literally like he's walking to the bathroom to go take a leak, man. He's just very, very nonchalant, a uh, humble dude, soft-spoken guy. And he reminds me of Anthony Joshua for some strange reason. He has his stature, his build. And, and if I had to imagine AJ being an MMA fighter, it would be this guy, Cyril Gunn. I mean, he's just, he reminds me so much of AJ. Um, I think he's more technical than the Black Beast. Um, AKA my balls is hot, <laughs> AKA I need to sit my black A down and do some more cardio. Elf, what you talking about? I ain't ready to fight for no title. Not with this gas tank. But anyway, I think he's more technical than the Black Beast. Cause Black Beast even, you know, stated it himself. I'm not technical, but I'm getting there. Um, so technically, technical aspect, he, he, he has the upper hand. Um, the Black Beast is heavier, 260 some odd pounds. Uh, Gone is, what, 240 something? Two big guys. I'm talking about some big heavyweights. Strong, too. Um, Gone has nice body kicks. Um, his, his stand up is decent, but he's a little wild with his hooks and an overhand. Uh, he does have a couple of submissions in his wins. So if it goes to the ground, he can finish it that way. Uh, but there's a lot of fighters who's, you know, taken. Uh, Lewis down, but just wasn't able to keep him down. And, you know, uh, Lewis, you know, made a joke about him not having a gas tank. But I remember when he fought um, this Russian, I can't even, I can't remember his last name or his first name. I can't remember his name in general, but he fought the, uh, a Russian fighter. And the very last minute of the very last round, he got the knockout. So this dude, the, the Black Beast can knock you out with either, either hand. Like, he can render you unconscious with either hand at any given time of the fight. He can do it standing up. He can do it on the ground off his back. He can do it on top of you with ground and pound. Like, literally, he could just barely touch you 
with either hand in his pillow talk time, straight up. And that's why he's so exciting to watch. And not only that, his 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 post fight interviews in the ring with Joe Rogan are just epic. The dude is just very very charismatic, very nonchalant when he's talking. And you know, come on, man, my ball my balls is hot. <laughs> I like the dude, man. Honestly, I like this 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 guy from France. Cyril Gunn. I think it's going to be a very entertaining fight. It's not going to go all all rounds. I'm I'm not sure if it's three or five rounds, but whatever the case, however, however many rounds it is, it's not going to distance. Somebody's getting rendered unconscious, and it wouldn't be it wouldn't surprise me to see both of them touch the canvas. You know what I'm saying? Because they're heavyweights and they they're both able to rock or knock each other out, being that they're really big, strong guys. But this is a fight that I really, really want to see. I will be watching this fight tomorrow, and I just might be going live. During that fight, you know what I'm saying? So you guys, if you want to, you can come kick it with your boy Real Talk MMA tomorrow night. God willing, if we here, if you want to come check me out, we can have some fun and talk about whatever you want to talk about. Because that's what it is. And there's a lot of, there's a handful of other fights that I want to see on this card too. And I, I'll probably do some more research and do some some uh, videos over that also. But I'm looking forward to UFC 265. It's going to be legit. It's going to be fireworks. And if you're watching it, let me know. Come kick it with me. And what do you think about this whole concept? What do you think about this UFC 265? Is the heavyweights is the reason why you're watching it? Is it the female fight? What is it? Comment down below. Let your boy Real Talk know. As always, respect all, fear none. God bless. Until the next time Real Talk boxes, we up. We out of here, baby.